Fox News, Peter Ducey steps in it again. Can you believe what he asked? The no, I mean, check this out, guys. I mean, I, I've i been complaining about the White House press team, press journalists for some time now. But Peter Ducey is special. He's like one of those special kids, right? Now he asks a question that said, hey, uh, the president said if you vaxxed up, you wouldn't have to wear a mask anymore. Now uh, there's this new, this new variation of the virus going on, and you're saying you have to wear masks. The first thing I want, I want to play it first, and then ask a specific question. Do they want to make El Senor Biden a god who knows everything that could possibly occur? But anyway, listen to this, and we'll take it on the other side. A few weeks ago, the president said we were closer than ever to declaring our independence from a deadly virus. Is that still the case if you guys are now reportedly considering asking vaccinated people to wear masks again? Well, first of all, the CDC director who oversees decisions along those lines and all of our public health decisions made clear that that was not a decision that had been made just a few hours ago. So I, I point out that first. Second, I would say what the president was uh, referring to and continues to talk about, as he did last night at a town hall, is that we're quite proud of the progress that's been made. Uh, people over 65, more than 80% are vaccinated. Almost 70% of adults are vaccinated. 162 million Americans uh, are vaccinated. That is certainly progress, but we are still at war with the virus. We've never said that would be over. We've always said that we'd be, be continue to continuing to focus on ensuring we're meeting people where they are and getting them vaccinated, but, keeping them safe. But the president said in May, vaxxed or masked. I, is, I, I think, a lot of people got the vaccine because they were hearing him say, if you get the vaccine, you don't have to wear masks anymore. Sure. So, And that continues to be CDC guidance. And you can say that that's going to be the guidance forever. I am not the CDC director. I understand, but people don't care who tells them to wear a mask. If they should the care. House, if should, it's the White House. Shouldn't the they CDC, care if it's a doctor, a medical saying. expert, or a spokesperson? I think most Americans actually do care. It's the government. Okay. Now, what is bewildering here is what does Peter Ducey want the president to do? Let's say the president says if you vax up, you don't have to wear masks. Because people took so long to vax up, before, because people took so long to take care of themselves and governments took too long to get things done, we get new variations in, in these viruses and they become more transmissible. And what we suggest to people is, look, we haven't changed policy, but to make yourself more protected, I mean, just not to get sick almost at all, we're, we're a mass, but it's not CDC guidelines. This guy did not even know that the CDC guidelines have yet to change. They're not telling you if you're vaccinated to still wear a mask. But they're giving you a fact, you know. Uh, you can still have breakthroughs and you can minimize breakthroughs by wearing a mask. But we are not saying you are mandated to wear a mask. I mean, but even if we were saying that today versus yesterday, someone who cares about health, someone who cares about humanity should not mind if we now have to wear masks. What's the big deal? That is the issue today. We concentrate on so much that means so little that we forget to concentrate on that which actually harms us. And we've taught Americans how to listen to news that way. And in doing so, we've made it very difficult for us to do things that are that's best in our own interest. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.